welcome to Artist Rage, where we draw, create, and paint things, and try not to get frustrated when it doesn't turn out absolutely perfect. Today we are drawing Fluttershy from My Little Pony, and today's tutorial is actually going to be perfect for beginners or for those who are having trouble with proportions. I have made these printable guides for you, and you can find these printable guides in the description of the video. So, you will notice that the guides are 8.5 by 11, 1 by 1 grid and 8.5 by 11 one by one grid with Fluttershy. This will be used for your reference whenever we're drawing Fluttershy on our grid. Now of course I don't want you to actually draw on this printout so we'll get to that in a moment. So once you have your two printouts go ahead and grab an 8.5 by 11 size sheet of paper perhaps just a piece of paper from your printer and then grab a pencil and an eraser. Once you have those things let's get started. So go ahead and grab the empty one by one grid and then grab your sheet of paper and place the grid underneath the sheet of paper. You should be able to see your grid lightly through the piece of paper and just go ahead and lightly draw the lines out. They don't have to be perfectly straight. We're just using it as a simple guide of where the shape should kind of fall. Now while I'm drawing this out, I wanted to say that there may be some who are watching that think that this grid method is cheating and I wanted to say that it's not cheating. <laughs> this is a really great way to train yourself to work with composition and to work with simple shapes. And actually a lot of professional artists use the grid method when doing portraits, when doing landscapes, and uh, various other types of projects. So the grid method is actually very helpful and used as a guide. So I've drawn out my grid. Now I don't really need this anymore, but I can hold on to it for other projects. And then I have my reference here of the uh, My Little Pony Fluttershy character that I drew. I actually drew her, just so you know, I drew her on another sheet of paper, and then I gridded her out, and so there we have her. So now we know where she is and how we can reproduce her. Ta -da. So go ahead, put that on the side, and then start drawing her out according to the page. Really, that's it. <laughs> so while I'm redrawing this, um, I thought I would just say, in case there are those of you who are confused on how to use the grid, there is a reason why I numbered and lettered everything, and you can do the same on the grid that you draw out. Um, it's just so, okay, so I'm drawing this ear, it's going to be in 2 and D area. So I'm looking in that area, and I count over, and I start drawing it in that area. It's that simple. And um, hopefully, this made this a little bit easier for you guys. Now that I've drawn her out, I'm going to erase all of those grid lines that we drew. So that's why it's very important to trace out your grid lines very lightly. So now that I've erased the grid lines, I am ready to ink and color, or just color. You don't have to ink it if you don't want to. And before I color it, I did want to say, if you wanted to make this feel more of like your own drawing instead of just a copy of my drawing, you can maybe add extra swirls on her hair at the end, or maybe instead of uh, instead of drawing her wing down, you can draw her wing out. So, you know, think of maybe little changes or maybe you want, don't want her leg to be curved here, you want all of her legs to be straight. You can make little changes like that. This is just a guide for you to get the basic shape and size of everything and you can just change appropriately. Maybe you can even change this into another character from the My Little Pony series. Okay, anyways, let's color. Ta-da! I'm done. So all I did was I inked her and then I colored her with color pencils. Now for those of you who are beginners, please, please, please try the grid method and let me know how it turns out for you. For those of you who aren't beginners, you don't have to draw out the grid and then draw her in the grid. You can just take a look at my original drawing and then try to reproduce the drawing from there. And of course, to make the drawing your own, you can change the way her hair flows a little bit or maybe the position of her legs and that'll make it your own piece. Now go ahead, give this a shot, 
let me know how it turns out. You can leave a comment in the description and let me know, or you can go to my website at artistrage.com, or you can tweet me a picture at artistrage and show me your completed piece. All right, guys, catch you next time and let me know what you would like to see. All right, see you.